Makiviti, leader of Glasgow Labour Council, Scotland's largest city and the biggest Labour group in Scotland. I stand here today because housing made and shaped the Labour Party in Glasgow. From pioneers like Mary Barber, a Labour and Cooperative Councillor, who fought the rent strikes and fought for the rent against the landlords 100 years ago, to John Wheatley, probably the best housing minister this country has ever seen. And we have an ambition. We have an ambition in Glasgow to make sure we continue the progress because in 1997, we had the highest rents, the largest debt, and the least satisfaction with our housing. It required a Labour government, a Labour government, to spend the issue of a billion debt being relieved and the people of Glasgow to allow us to invest in our housing. And next year, when the SNP claim to take the mantle of Scottish Labour, next year when they will try and take a number of Labour authorities in Scotland, we must remind people the difference a Labour Council can make to everyone's life. And even this very moment, we are always concluding a deal to make sure that 2,000 workers in our city building will be guaranteed employment for the next 30 years in a unionised workplace, making sure they've got chances for themselves and their families. That is what Labour does in action. The SNP will talk about tackling inequality. We are about reducing the inequality gap. We are fundamentally committed to working with the people of Glasgow to transform our city. We're investing in housing, we're investing in education, we're investing in jobs, we're creating the opportunity to make sure people are looked after. We were the first council in Scotland to introduce the living wage. We were the first council in Scotland to say the trade union bill was unacceptable. And we were the first council in Scotland to say, when it came to the refugee crisis, not how many can we take, it was how many can you give us to make sure we can look after many of the most vulnerable. So we have a challenge, and I say to every delegate here today, we are passionate very often in the Labour Party about rule books. But let's be passionate about changing people, giving them the chance. So next year, our test is can we hold the largest city in Scotland? Can we roll back the nationalist advance? Can we make sure that the people of Glasgow have people who put them first and not the Constitution? If we can do that, we can make a difference. I ask each and every one of you to commit to that over the next period. And I would love to see you in Glasgow to make sure we can hold a Labour Council for the people of Glasgow to make a difference in the future. Thank you.